Hello guys, so far in the chapter DC power supplies we have covered these topics. In case if you miss these topics, the links are available in the description. Today we will learn the working of voltage regulator using series pass transistor. We will also obtain the expression for output voltage and we will see the limitation of voltage regulator using series pass transistor. So let's start with the topic series pass transistor as voltage regulator. It is also known as transistorized series voltage regulator. The unregulated DC input voltage V in is given to the circuit. Now this V in is the output of the filter which is unregulated but a uh, which contains the ripple of about 10%. Typically V in has peak to peak ripple of about 10% of the DC voltage. As we know that we studied in previous lectures that the output of filter is with ripples but not as much as it was from the rectifiers output. Here is the circuit of series pass transistor as voltage regulator or we can say transistorized series voltage regulator. In this there are two transistors Q1 and Q2. A voltage divider formed by resistor R1 and R2. The output across this voltage regulator is V0 a load resistor RL across which we are taking the V out. A feedback voltage VF is here, a Zener voltage across the Zener diode VZ and two more resistors R3 and R4. Now let's see about the circuit description. Q1 transistor is operated in the active region as a linear common base amplifier. This is the Q1 transistor which operates in active region and is in the common base amplifier mode. Here is the same diagram which I took for reference so that I don't have to turn the page every time. Q2 is emitter follower and called as series pass transistor because all the load current passes through it. As we able to see in this diagram, the transistor Q2 is connected in series with the load resistor RL and the load current is passes through the transistor Q2 and hence the transistor Q2 is known as series pass transistor. A output, sorry, a voltage divider formed by R1 and R2 samples the output voltage V0. V0 derives a feedback voltage Vf to the base of Q1 as we able to see that the output voltage V0 is derived the feedback voltage Vf which is at the base of transistor Q1. The output voltage is stabilized against the change in open loop gain, load resistance, line voltage and etc. Now let's see the working of series pass transistor as voltage regulator. Now suppose the V0 which is across the voltage divider R1 and R2 tries to increase. Now if V0 tries to increase what happens? The feedback voltage Vf applied to the Q1 increases as we just now studied that. V0 derives the Vf. So if V0 increases, Vf also increases. Now if Vf increases, the collector current of transistor Q1 also increases. Now if the collector current is increases, as we know that the Zener diode here is connected in reverse bias, 
as positive end is connected to end terminal of the diode hence the zener diode is in reverse bias so the maximum current is drained through the drain through the zener diode so here it is feedback voltage vf applied to q1 increases which produces large q1 collector current through r3 the base voltage of q2 decreases now when the maximum current is passed through this transistor q1 the base current of q2 decreases and hence when the base current of q2 decreases we will get the less current at the output and hence at the rl we will get the less voltage here it is through r3 base voltage of q2 decreases this results in less output voltage that is v out so we will get a less output voltage v out now to remember this working here is a formula v not increases vf increases here it is for your reference i took it place it like this v not increases vf increases vf increases so current through collector of q1 increases q1 collector current increases if q1 collector current increases what happened through r3 the base current of q2 decreases or we can say the base voltage of q2 decreases now when this voltage decreases the load voltage or the load current decreases and hence rl across the rl the v out is also decreased similarly if v not tries to decrease now when v not is decreases vf is decreases and hence small collector current will produce if a small collector current is produced nothing is passes through this zener diode and through r4 r3 will be the base voltage of q2 is increased now when the base voltage of q2 is increased we will get a maximum rl a load current sorry il and hence we will get a increased v out here it is similarly if v not tries to decrease feedback voltage vf applied to q1 decreases hence collector current of q1 decreases through r3 base voltage of q2 increases and hence the results is is more output voltage that is v out just now i told you if v out decreases vf decreases the collector current of q1 decreases and through r3 the base voltage of q2 increases when the voltage is increased a large current il flows through rl and we will get a large v out or we can say a more output here is the similar formula v not decreases vf decreases q1 collector current decreases and through r3 the base uh, voltage of q2 increases and hence we will get a more output across the rl so what we concluded thus any change in v out v not produces an amplified output change in the opposite direction now let's see when v not increased the v out decreased when v not decreased v out increased hence we get the amplified output but in the opposite direction therefore output voltage is almost constant even though the input voltage and load current may change now let's see the equation for v not or we can say expression for v not to get the expression for v not as we know that the v not is applied to the voltage divider to produce a feedback voltage vf which is applied to the base of q1 here it is the voltage across the vol uh, voltage divider resistor r1 and r2 is v not and v not is produce a feedback resistor vf now we know that the closed loop 
voltage gain acl is given by 1 by beta where beta is the feedback fraction and is given by r2 upon r1 plus r2 on substituting this value here we will get acl is equal to 1 upon r2 whole upon r1 plus r2 so it will become r1 plus r2 upon r2 we will get r1 r2 plus 1 as r2 is separated so we will get r1 r2 plus 1 now vf here it is the vf vf is a so i am trying to apply a loop analysis in this loop so what will i get vf is equal to vz and this voltage this is what base and this is what collector or uh, sorry this is what emitter so what i will get vf is equal to vz plus vbe here it is vf is equal to vz plus vbe that is equal to beta times v not so from here v not will be vf upon beta and 1 upon beta is acl so substituting this we will get v not is equal to acl vz plus vbe where acl is closed loop voltage gain vz is zener voltage and vbe is base emitter voltage of q1 now let's move to the last topic that is limitation the one of the uh, limitation of this uh, voltage regulator is power dissipation the emitter follower transistor q2 is in series with load power dissipation takes in place in it the power dissipation is given by pd is equal to vce multiplied by ic where vce is collector emitter voltage of transistor q2 and ic is collector current of transistor q2 when the load current is heavy the series pass transistor gets heated and therefore a power is dissipated across the transistor and hence to reduce this we need heat sink or fans so that this excess heat can be removed that's all about the today's lecture in next lecture we will learn the concept of power dissipation and current limitation in series regulator and along with this we will also learn with the help of circuit diagram that how a short circuit protection can be provided in transistorized series voltage regulator thank you